Globe and Mail, I like to thank you today. I'm so happy. I, I'm so overjoyed. I, I have these cathartic releases that I need to actually share with you. I thank you on behalf of all of the Muslims for putting out that great picture you have. That, that, that picture of that Niqabi woman on, on the front page of Globe and Mail. You did such a great service to us without even reading it. Oh, it just le left a lasting impression across my heart. It not, not only did it leave a lasting impression, it actually lacerated it. Um, how odious of you, uh, Globe and Mail. We expected this from the national, or should I say the national uh, inquirer. Um, you said in the caption, Muslims amongst us. And you have this face of this woman, okay? Usually with the niqab, you know, the beautiful eyes, and they're smiling within. It's a nice, uh, you know, it leads the imagination how beautiful the face may be. Oh my goodness, a beautiful uh, eyes like this. You pick a sister of ours, and I don't know who the sister is. It could be another lady. I don't know. These things are doctored these days. But you pick that and you put a caption. Muslims amongst us. Uh, what new wave of immigration, uh, fear, fear factor, whatever. I didn't even read the article. I don't have to read the article. Whether it's positive or negative, you already put the negative into the minds of people. Anybody walking by with this picture, let's show it to you. Here. Could you not bring another gratiating picture? Uh, something that at least, you know, oh, the new wave of immigrants. So you want to have this kind of a thrill factor. This is exactly what Hitler used to do. The face of the enemy. And this is what he used to caption and put the face of an old rabbi with his curls and his long hair and his long beard and say face of the enemy. And you know exactly what they did to, to the Jews. In, in Nazi Germany. These were pre-Nazi tactics that actually made life hell for the Jews. And this is exactly what you're doing. You're part and parcel. I hold you accountable, Globe and Mail, and all of the other newspapers, and all of the other media, including the, your, your, your reporting and CBC with this 11-year-old girl. We'll deal with that later. Oh, oh, the 11-year-old girl. We hold you accountable, at least in part for creating an environment of hate for the Muslims. I don't care if the article is positive or not positive. All I know, as they say, the picture, the cliche is, the picture paints a thousand words. This already painted for me. Me as a Muslim looking at that, right away I thought that this was, this was something that was uh, uh, not, not uh, conducive to any kind of uh, good gesture for the Muslims. Thank you very much. I really just appreciating that, oh, you know, we, we are doing so well as, as, as Muslims that we need this negative publicity because we're doing so great in the, in the, in the European newspapers, we're doing so great in, 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 uh, in Rupert Murdoch's Empire, in Sky News, in all of CNN, we're just doing great in America, the FBI, uh, oh sorry, the New York Police Department spending three billion dollars of over six years and not having one single lead on the Muslims. We're doing so great. Our, our, our uh, persona is so sublime at this point. We just like to thank you to add it over it. We're doing so great in Afghanistan. We're doing so great in Iraq. We're doing so great in Palestine. We're just, we're, I mean, there's so many great stories. And we look just so wonderful. We just th we would like to thank you today for putting such a beautiful picture. Oh, so so it was so lucid. It was so catching to the eyes. I hope you sell your papers, and I hope you become sick with it because it was a very sick thing that you did with the Muslims. I don't care what you wrote in it, good or bad or ugly, but you did define for for us that you have a slant against the Muslims. And this is exactly how we feel. We want to let you know, so in case when we do get spat at, when, when, when our sisters are not allowed on buses, when we, have, when we are dealt by the police in the wrong way, where discrimination is taking place, 
All of these things were done to the North American Indians, they were done to the Jews, they were done to the Japanese, they were done to the African Americans. A man of 55 year old just last week, African American Baptist, he said that he remember as a, as a five year old going to the candy store and being wrapped on his hands and he had the money for the candy and said get your black hands out of there. This is exactly the environment you are setting up for us and we don't appreciate it but I'm here to say that we will talk about this and we will expose your your clandestine approach against Muslims it's a very sad day for a, for a mainstream media uh, newspaper I say we boycott all of these newspapers anybody who has a heart Jew Hindu, Muslim, Christian, boycott all of these newspapers until they know how to report properly. We don't want sensationalist reporting. We don't want these glamour pictures. We want news as news is supposed to be. Very, very sad. Very sad day for today.